a very important concept throughout our guard retention, pretty much for everything except when you're stuck under half guard, is never hip escape. Or, or on top of that, it's really don't put your feet on the, the floor unless it's your bottom inside leg on occasion. Okay, so let's just first look at the at the hip escape. So the hip escape is designed, so do you want to show the action Harry? So he's gonna put his foot on the mat and he uses it to hip hip move his hips away. Okay. And it's it's designed and it's really commonly taught as a way to make distance. So you see it gets Ari's hips away, which is what he wants, and it makes him face me as well. Okay, so that's that's two positive things that he has done to try to recover guard. So why is do we think it's bad then? Well, you're giving up this space, okay? This space between the knee and the chest. What I want to do on top as the passer is control this space. If I can get in anywhere from this, like an underhook down towards the hip or even on top of this leg, this is becoming very dangerous for Ari if I control this space. So if I've got him in a position where he wants to hip escape and put his foot on the mat, I will quite gladly take that space and he's, it's really impossible for him when he puts his foot there to cover all of that space. He might block like here, but I can still at least go down on the leg. There's too much of a gap that he's giving for me to control here, okay? So, although you might achieve the objective of moving your hips away, I, I feel like what you're uh, giving up by doing that is, is bad, and a, an advanced guard passer will take advantage of that and ends up being a bad decision, okay? So, we, we don't want to do that. It, it can be sometimes okay to put your bottom foot on the ground if your hips are turned down, okay? Because then we can use that to, to invert or, or to potentially do like a hip escape there, okay? But we never want to put our top leg on the ground, or at least only in a half guard scenario, which we'll cover in that section. So what do we do instead? Well, we have something called a high pummel. You're gonna learn that a little bit later, but it achieves exactly the same thing. If you do wanna do a high pummel, we won't talk about how to do it yet, but if Ari does the high pummel, it achieves the same thing. His hips move away, he faces me, but he doesn't give up that space. There's another action where we will put our foot on the, the floor, which is the gongo. Again, you'll learn this, this action later, but again, it's our bottom leg. Even though it starts off being our top leg, when we get turned away, we can put our foot on the ground, face him down, but again, it becomes the bottom leg in that scenario, and that is okay uh, to, to do that. 